you know, sometimes it is best to focus on the life that is going to continue to keep you on the right path and take care of your pockets and your family instead of trying to live a double life that you are nowhere in shape and form built for, ready for, or have no idea about. I'm just saying. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of You Guessed It, Joel Davis Media Network. I'm your host, Joel Davis, and today's video, I have a shocking information. It seems like Fulton County has an issue with the lawyers not able to focus on their job and separate the extracurricular activities, fantasies, or research from their actual everyday job. And right now, this is what's going on with the YSL lawyer, uh, attorney for one of the defendants named Nicole Fee. Now, let's rewind. I know you guys are probably wondering, Joel, what is the YSL again? Uh, what other attorney is involved in this? Okay, here we go. So, before things got hot and heavy with President Donald J. Trump, Fannie Willis decided to make a case on a rapper named Young Thug. Now, rapper Young Thug has a group that a uh, record label that he's called Young uh, Slime Life. Okay, now they allegedly have been involved with up to 50 murders since 2000 and eight to two thousand to up to about two thousand i want to say and four on um, two thousand and uh eighteen something like that it's been a it, they've been a lot of murders in the last eight to ten years okay until he got arrested so with that being said with him being involved allegedly in these murders fanny willis took the time to build the case now the streets are saying the reason why Fannie Willis built this case is because she was messing with a guy that was a uh, uh, man, I think friend and possibly I want to say manager to young YRN Lucci and the YRN stands for young rich nigga um, um, gang. Well, they say that apparently the car that was used to shoot down donovan big nut um i want to say last name thomas i could be wrong uh was rented under the uh name of young thug and i think it also had transaction of it being a part of young thug's credit card 
a debit card. I don't know. I digress. But either way it goes, rumor has it also on the street that Fannie Willis was, let's get that sound again, guys. Getting those cheaps clapped by Donovan, uh, Big Nut Thomas. Now, at the end of the day, uh, this is, again, alleged because she swears out and denies she has ever messed with Donovan Big Nut when she was a regular dish on uh, regular defense attorney. But we all know how that goes with her. You know, it, it's always uh, some BS. But all we know is he got killed outside of a barbershop in Atlanta in January of 2015. And everybody has says that it was because of some back and forth that been going on between uh, YRN and YSL affiliates, which is Lucci and Young Thug. So now we fast forward to this lady. Now, this lady is an attorney. Now, I am about to play what has happened and what she did and what she's arrested for. And then I will give you my consensus of what may be possibly going to happen in these situations with Fannie and all the rest of these crazy acting attorneys. Must be something in AT's L water. I don't know. But we're about to share this with you. area criminal defense attorney is on the other side of the law tonight. Atlanta police say she told a murder suspect to throw away evidence. Fox West Tyler Fingert has worked on this story all day. He joined us live in downtown Atlanta with the details. Tyler. Yeah, Courtney, good evening to you. Nicole Fegan represents a defendant in the Young Slime Life gang case. Tonight, she is now in trouble herself. In fact, I've learned she is facing a gang charge. Atlanta area criminal defense attorney Nicole Fegan now needs a lawyer of her own after being arrested in Gwinnett County Friday and booked into the Fulton County Jail. Police say she told a murder suspect he was wanted and to ditch his phone. This stems from a September 2022 deadly shooting in downtown Atlanta. Atlanta police say she contacted a suspect in the case to tell him he was wanted and then told him to dispose of his phone. Detectives say Fegan was not representing the suspect she called and learned about the warrant during a court hearing related to the shooting. You know you got a warrant, right? No, sir. All right, you got a warrant out of the city of Atlanta. Besides Fegan, police have also arrested Keontae Davis in this case. It's unclear if he's the suspect she called, but officers took him into custody last February after he was pulled over for rolling through a red light. This is body camera video from that arrest. Davis is accused of taking part in the deadly shooting, which police say started as an argument. One person was killed and another was injured in that case. Davis faces at least two charges, including murder. I'm confident that you'll come back with a verdict that speaks the truth. For Fegan, the allegations are a fall from grace for a defense attorney who has been considered a rising star. In a 2019 Facebook post, she shared this article about her from Atlanta Attorney at Law magazine that calls her the new generation of criminal defense attorneys. Fegan faces two charges, participation in criminal street gang activity and solicitation to tamper with evidence. Fegan represents YSL defendant Tenquarius Mender. And Fegan has been booked, but at this point, we will not be getting her mugshot because of system issues related to that, uh, related to the uh, the cyber attack that happened last month. We are live in downtown Atlanta tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Tyler, thanks. New development.
All right, guys. So you saw that, you heard that. This is what's going on with this young lady here. So, so basically, she decided that she was going to call this person and tell them, hey, person, uh, listen, I know I'm not your uh, attorney, but we're homies, friends, or whatever, but you got a warrant out, and you need to throw that phone away. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of snippet of Nicole Feagan's uh uh, uh, Instagram, so you can get an idea of what type of woman she is. Now, it seems like to me, no, uh, uh, that she's either married or she maybe have family members. I don't know, but I don't think she's married. I think where I'm getting the the observance that she either got uh, family members, little brothers, or something like that. Uh, and, and everything I don't know, but I know she's got a baby. I um, I think that's what it is. I think she's got a baby, and I think she also has an older kid, uh, or either that or that was her brother. But I'm about to show you some of how she talks, so you can get an idea of what type of woman that she is, and you could kind of tell. That seems like to me she's living a double life. So let's go ahead on here. Go into Miss uh her Instagram. Again, this is fair use, y'all. I am just trying to bring the truth because in these situations here, y'all guys need to know what's going on. And that's what I am doing. I'm just bringing it all together. Please. Let's see what we got to do here. All right, so this is an Instagram. All right, I'm going to show this to you guys here. Fegan Law. I'm going to see if I can play anything that doesn't have any music so y'all get an idea of how she is. I'm going to look at some of her reels and see her talking. Let's see if this is one of her talking. Don't check my profile. I be no, that's not. Yeah, that's not her. I don't want to hear her uh, talk. I want to hear her talking. Uh, let me see here. A lot of these got music in it. I ain't trying to hear the music. Let me see which one she's got. Now she does have a brand called She Got Uh She, um, she Got Proof. Now she's with a lot of uh, hood people, things of that nature. Uh I'm gonna try to see if I can get the one where she is actually talking about some stuff. Let me see here. She might have took it down by now. I gotta find it. Uh, it's not here. Hold on, guys. Let's see where it's at. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to go through my posts. And find it. But I'll give you some examples of what we're looking at. Like right here. You see that right there? You know, shopping and, and, and being stylish with the money on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Trying to look like uh she one of those um one of those uh I get money and I deal with gangsters type of chick. All right, here's another example of uh, how ridiculous uh, she is. We're trying to overswag herself in the wrong way. Now, she is real close to this guy here, Pee Wee the Long Way. He's a rapper uh, out of 
Atlanta. See right there? That ain't a good look. Now, he done got a whole lot of charges. He done been in and out of jail a lot. Now, here you is supposed to be this sophisticated lawyer with a baby at home, and I'm quite sure you may be married. I don't know for sure, but it ain't a good look. You out here with real street dudes because it makes it look like you wearing you you make you know you you got a double life going on you know now this is her in the in the black and trying to look all sexy and stuff now let's see the one i'm trying to find shout out to my boy uh abl with the one with the bonnet if i can find that one y'all can really see what we're talking about how this young lady has went above and beyond her social level because sometimes it is best to stay in the lane that you are accustomed to because see you 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 be doing too much trying to go on these uh these other lanes i'm i'm just saying uh she been to dubai uh, Eh, I'm just trying to find the one. Okay. So this is the one where she's got her bonnet on talking about how she's uh got um got proof. So let's go and talk about this. Talk about you being your own worst enemy. So cell phone extractions. When the cops take your phone, then they get a search warrant and then they extract it. The only time I've ever seen them have an issue extracting phones is sometimes with iPhones. Okay, so now they get your iPhone and what's on the cell phone extraction. Let's first talk about text messages. Nothing gets deleted, period. You can't delete it. Now, even what's even worse is when you do delete it, it shows. So it shows you just had a conversation with your mama, then homie gives you the address to the lick, and then you deleted it. So now what were you hiding? Like, obviously, you had not just looks suspicious as fuck now pictures when you take a picture especially a picture with like guns or drugs now when you look at the comments everybody um talking about oh man you a real one you this and you that but look at how she appropriating black culture because see this is how you appropriate right here this is what the liberals saw my appropriation so bad she's appropriating your culture because she's got a bonnet on like she's a black chick and she's trying to tell you all this stuff in hood in a hood context on how to uh protect your phone and stuff like that uh usually if you're a lawyer some of that stuff you should be saying that to a client in a personal setting but you're trying to do it in a way like you're so hood and it, it sounds like it's forced to me it sounds like she's trying to achieve a lifestyle that doesn't fit her character you know like some of those people that go through life and people was like yo man you was whack all through school or something and then all of a sudden you decided well you know i'm gonna change up and go and try to act like this and it's not you it's just you trying to find something to adapt to so you can feel like that's what I'm that's what I'm getting here. These are the type of vibes I'm getting here. Cause I really don't see Shorty about that life. I really don't. I mean, I know I sound messed up for saying that, but I just don't. Because all right, you got the bonnet hat on and stuff, and you're trying to talk all that. Now she had the one about the street dude. If I could find that, I think she took it down or she got somebody to take it down because I can't find it. Oh, here it is. I want y'all to listen. Now, this is the dude that she helped free right here. This is what not guilty looks like after you had a light. All right, so she helped him get his law degree or whatever. Now, I want y'all to listen to the one. Let me go cut this down a little bit. I don't want to blow my room out here. I want y'all to listen to the one that she did here. And you tell me if she's trying to live that boss chick I know my man is out here doing illegal stuff, but I'm going to be his lawyer in defense to get him out of trouble life. Just listen to it. 
with a man that's in the street, then you need to understand the position you play. If you're sitting there and you're getting nice dinners, you're getting some shoes, you might be getting a purse, then when shit gets fucked up, you're down too. You might have a minor setback, but you're going to have a major comeback. Another thing is you don't need to be sitting there asking who he's talking to and whether or not he's cheating. He's not cheating. And frankly, you don't need to ask him what he's doing anyway because you already know he's not doing shit. And said, you need to be Googling some shit to talk to him about so that he can get his mind off his situation. Another thing is, you don't need to get all in your feelings and lose your self-esteem and you don't want to be confident. You think he might be wanting to move on to another girl. He don't have no options right now, first of all. Second of all, you losing your confidence takes your sexy sweater off. You already know that's your man. You're going to hold him down. When he get out, he's going to hold you down too. So don't, don't forget that. Proof Chronicles. Now, if you're messing with a man that's in the street, then you need to understand the position you play. If you're sitting there and you're getting nice dinners, you're getting some shoes, you might be getting a purse, then when shit gets fucked up, you're down too. You might have a minor set. All right, so you see that, right? So she basically, that's all she's talking about is dudes being in the street and how you need to focus on not worrying about what he's doing and you need to focus on yourself and stuff like that. Sounds like to me that this is the guy she deal with. She deal with nothing but street dudes. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like that on this particular situation here is that she got caught up. And it happens, dude. Like, real talk, it happens. She got caught up. She got comfortable. She thought that because she was with YSL defendant, you know, she's a defense attorney and things of that nature, she got comfortable. And we starting to see this with a lot of females in power lately in Atlanta. Uh, and, and not only Atlanta, everywhere. A lot of these women, these modern empowered women, they get comfortable. They don't understand that the game in this game here, even you being a woman, you can get just as much heat as a man because you hold a position. And people expect and put you on a higher pedestal than they would most men because they look at you as you're supposed to be better than that. You're supposed to be strong willed. You're supposed to be smart. And you out here taking pictures with ex cons and rappers that are ex cons and things of that nature. You're out here, you know what I mean, talking about, you know, got proof and, 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 and talking about dudes in the street and how you need to. Uh, hide your cell phone and stuff like that and what to delete, not to delete. Hey, like I said before, what you project is what you attract. And this is what happens when you project bullshit. But either way it goes, y'all, jump in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Nicole Fegan, man. A woman that's probably making almost 200 grand a year, not to mention how much she's making with her brand, and threw it all away just to tell some dude in the street that she probably was getting a, her um, back blown out with a Pookie or Ray Ray about how to hide his to talk to his phone and he's got a warrant for his arrest uh, without being his actual lawyer. I don't know, man. I, I think she's cooked. She's toast. She might as well start uh, focusing on her brand as hard as she can when she get out because I don't know how she's going to pay the bills, but they're going to take that law license. Again, please like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. I'm out.